hey lady is the bloody great girl let me share today um why let me not say why let me just make it my personal experience like just gisting with you how i felt after i talked about a person i'm seeing with my friend slash sister please let me know um have you been in any um have you been on have you been dating or seen anyone that you haven't told your friends about what do you think about telling your friends um talking to your friends about the person that you are seeing is this a good thing or a bad thing what has been your experience many people have had bad experiences from sharing about the person that they're seeing they've had like jealous friends taking those persons away from them so usually uh background story here usually i don't like to talk to people about maybe people that i'm seeing for several reasons one i'm just like a very private person two because if it ends and it doesn't become like a relationship or i don't get a second date i don't want people asking me questions like oh how about this person where's this person where's he now what does he look like i just you know don't want to be pressured to think that um oh this person didn't call me back or yeah now they're going to say um I can't even maybe get a second date or a third date or progress from um, just going on dates to a relationship. So I've built that um, habit of keeping everything to myself and I haven't really like dated anyone in years and possibly decade, a decade, <laughs> not decades, <laughs> possibly a decade. And what's funny is that some of my friends or people who see me from afar would say oh uh, you're only dating um handsome guys you're only dating rich guys you're only dating this you're only dating that and what is so funny is that i don't go out in the world saying hey handsome guys come to me i don't go out in the world saying hey this kind of person come to me this this thing just happens and i am not dating these people I possibly just went to see like one movie, went to grab snacks, went on one expensive date or something with this person and maybe they just saw him coming to pick me or maybe they, um, maybe I got back home and they saw him drop me off or I shared a picture maybe once in a while, but then they would start, you know, just analyze and say oh i only go out with certain kinds of people and i just don't want to be you know put in a box or studied like that like i really am that kind of person that i just want you to leave me alone when i'm seeing someone like just leave me alone don't get involved if i don't get you involved just leave me alone like even if it doesn't progress to anything like i really don't care right now it's possibly just going to be another business connection or maybe it's going to turn out to be another idiot and then we'll just let it go but like no pressure seriously let me just go eat and come back or let me just go to this fancy place and come back or let me just go have this meeting and come back to me like i don't really want to share with anyone because i don't like have any some of my friends say oh i'm getting really negative but i'm not like having any expectations like i don't want to have any expectations i don't want you to put anything in my head like to me i'm just going out it's not a date it's, i'm just stepping out of my house with another human being who happens to be of a different gender and who looks like we're picture perfect but i just don't want you to get put any ideas in my head because i don't want to be in that situation where i set myself up for disappointment or maybe a a situation ship i don't even do textation ships i don't even text with people more than the first day if there's nothing important that we're talking about like business or your project or something you want me to get involved in or you need my help or something like i, I just i don't want to build that kind of um ideal relationship maybe that maybe you call it something different but i think this is just enough for the background and now let me move on to 
what happened um, recently. So I'm working on a movie project. And um, so I talked to my friends and I say, I want a certain kind of person. And I'm given the number of a certain person and where things start happening. First things first. We're supposed to see at a certain place, but then he changes the location to his house. I'm like, okay, I do not think that you will be crazy or a serial killer because I got your number from someone I respect. And I'm hoping that this is really just a meeting and nothing else because I've not met you before. So I'm definitely not coming to your house to Netflix and chill. So I go there and I have this dinner and the place is really nice and man starts to act weird you know wants to play Monopoly wants to ask Alexa all kinds of stupid questions I'm like either this person is a child out of his mind or he thinks I am one of those girls so he just starts you know making a fool of himself and all that all of everything he was saying was just sexual innuendos talking about girls talking about different places talking about weird things like it was everything was just too sexual for a first time meeting and i thought okay this could be a crazy person or maybe not i'll just laugh and go home so it gets late and he possibly thinks i'm going to stay over and then i'm like okay i'm leaving i go to the door and i'm waiting and he disappears for like five minutes while i'm at the door saying i'm about to leave and next thing i just text him like i'm leaving and i open the door and then he appears and he's like where are you going blah 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 blah. i just stepped out for isn't it late i'm like i want to go home so i'm home and then the next meeting is meant to be like a bike ride and i'm like okay i could do bike riding I do bike riding and then we have dinner later and then I dropped off at my place. I'm like, okay, he's not such a bad person. Maybe on the first day, he really thought I was that kind of girl. But now he realizes I'm not that kind of girl. Or maybe he's still just working his way up to see if there could be some luck. So the third time we meet up is for a movie. So the movie date. Um, Okay, another background story. This is like the first time that I'm actually getting to see a person for the third time. So usually I'll be, I'll just be like no longer interested or maybe the person would just ghost me the moment they realize that I'm not that kind of girl. So this time I'm making it to the third date and it's a movie date and it's at, at his place and he has this um, big room that he uses for his cinema. Not really big, big, but he has this big screen, right? That's all I was trying to say. He has this big screen that he uses for his cinema. So I'm there. We actually see a movie till the end. And actually it was very interesting because there were times that we would pause the movie and then we would, he would just talk and just analyze and maybe just do some calculations to just see if the movie is accurate. And this was really cool to, you know, you know, to see someone who was actually as interested in a movie as I was because that was a movie that I really liked and had I'd seen it like maybe 16 times or more I really liked the movie so you know you start to realize oh this guy is actually very cool and so I asked the question um, well if you're so cool why are you so single you know I want to hear his story or maybe something he's kept aside hoping that I was gonna ask the question and then he starts saying a lot of things which I will say in another um, another video or podcast depending on where you're listening to me from so I go home and I tell my sister this okay so another background story seeing this person when I went for the for the bike ride that was the first time again that I talked to my sisters about someone I'm, I'm seeing and I let them know that okay i'm just seeing someone so i don't want anyone asking me so many questions we're not dating i don't know what's what it's going to be i'm just tired i'm just i just want to step out of the house so really to me i really just wanted to step out of the house i was working on a project i was so tense and i really just wanted to step out of the house 
and just you know do non-work related stuff so and then my sister they're like okay yeah we understand and i start to tell them okay how um the communication goes how the date goes and all that and my sisters are like oh okay 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 so finally um last week this week last week uh because today's monday i tell one of my sisters again about um you know you know the way this person texts at first i was like okay it's slow pacing but then i started to realize it's either breadcrumbing or he's actually very busy because he is actually like very very busy he's not the average guy that you would just say oh i want to read about i want to read an article about why guys do this or why this does that then you go online and you see his specific type captured that's the crazy thing about going online to read one size fits all advice so to me i'm like this person is actually very busy so the slow pacing cool but is this really slow pacing or is this breadcrumbing or is this someone that is just oh uh, okay i'm so busy but let me just check up on this my friend and see how she's doing which is okay for someone that you're not dating and you told yourself you're not dating so i really don't have an issue with it i did not have an issue with it because you're busy i'm busy and i'm not really the kind of person who likes to just sit and text anyway so i, really, I didn't really say much about it so uh this time it was going to like three four weeks and i was like what's up with this person like first of all, i just text my sister and okay so we're talking about other plans and then i'm like yeah this is happening on this date like this person is going to be leaving um the country for good on so and so date so i want to know if we're going to see or not and i also want to see if he's going to text me or not and because he knows that we're supposed to be working on a project on my project i want to see if it he finds it important enough to let me know that he's been transferred out of nigeria that kind of thing so you know i just start sharing that with my sister and then she starts to just you know let me know that it's good that um it's good that i'm not very pushy and all that but blah 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 but there are so many red flags to this person and i'm like yeah but i didn't i didn't see it that way and i didn't want to analyze it as that as, as red flags because to me i wasn't like dating this person so all of the psychoanalysis i did not have it there but based on someone i want to do business with or do work with i did not think this person was reliable enough and on that note i started to even realize that if i couldn't trust this person with my project how can i trust this person with my heart so just just the two of us having that conversation together started to open up a lot of things and it just started to make me really look back at so many things that i overlooked and i was like yeah 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 i just started to see all of those things and i just said to her this is this, like this feels so good to that i was like so this is why girls like to talk about the person they're seeing with their friends and i'm like well there's so many benefits to this because um twisty neck pointy finger hair sway oh no he didn't <laughs> you know just put all of them together the twisty neck the pointy finger and then the hair sway oh no he didn't so all of that put together just helped us to both um, take a look at this person. And it made me to now, you know, in retrospect, look back and see that even if I wasn't dating this person or I didn't see this person as a prospect um, based on human relationships, I'm usually used to um, getting more because I expect him more because I tend to give more but I realized that this was like a low effort relationship and this was someone I couldn't rely on even if you're just going to be my friend being able to be trusted or relied on is something that I, I treasure in all of my relationships with people like just be someone I can count on I'm not high maintenance I'm not going to be needy or clingy or you know be on your neck all the time but when i'm like okay i need you 
I need to know you can be there for me. And if you can't be there for me, you will let me know on time that you can't be there for me. But I wasn't getting that from this person. And already from that perspective, it was not a healthy um, relationship. And usually if we were dating, if I knew it was a date, I would set foundations from the start, set boundaries from the, from the foundation. But um, I did not do any of that because to me, it was just... Um, a person who was going to work on my project maybe from there we could become friends maybe from there we could become close or become something else but i did not want to invest emotions into it and that is why i let a lot of things go which i cannot mention here but i hope you guys enjoyed listening to this so please let me know have you been on have you been dating or seen anyone that you haven't told your friends about what do you think about talking to your friends about the person that you are seeing is this a good thing or a bad thing what has been your experience many people have had bad experiences from sharing about the person that they're seeing they've had like jealous friends taking those persons away from them they've had like family members who do not even understand the context of the relationship just using maybe surface information to tell you to stop seeing that person or get rid of that person so um what has been your experience is it like a positive experience do you think that it is important to let your friends know that you're seeing someone or that you find something like a red flag and you need their opinion this is different from um asking your friends oh is he cute no this is not this is not about asking oh is he cute this is about discussing values especially because these people are your friends and they're going to be his friends later and you and your friends kind of share the same values so sharing with your friends who share the same values with you would help you both to analyze this person and and then your friends can even let you know if this person fits into your perspective of life or if this person is going to be good for you or if this person is just going to be another bunch of headache and they could even let you know if this person is someone who could change will have the potential to change not not like you're changing the person but if the person really likes you they're going to want to respect your boundaries that's what i mean by change they're going to want to do right by you ah guys it's been so cool talking to you guys and really just let me know what you think it's the bloody great girl and you can always find me on instagram where i'm helping women with fibroids and with um period issues and we also talk about peace of mind and being a high value woman and sometimes too we meet and we pray but i think we're going to take that online now because it's been really really difficult to gather people at the same time in the same location you know with transport issues and so many in so many things yeah take care love you guys bloodily yours bloody great girl period